I'm here to teach you how to crush your friends out on the pickleball court. Welcome back to episode six of how to crush your friends out on the pickleball court. In this episode, we're gonna be talking about speed ups. Not a personal favorite of mine, I have to admit. I am definitely a dinker and not a banger. However, speed ups are a necessary part of the game to beat your opponent. Okay, in the last episode, we talked about dinking and making sure to move your opponents around at the kitchen line. When you move your opponents around at the kitchen line, it will cause them to be in uncomfortable positions and they will be popping the ball up. When they pop, pop the ball up, you definitely want to put that ball away. However, sometimes you may be in a scenario where you notice that your opponent does not have their ready position up, therefore their paddle is not up and ready to defend attacks, their paddle is down. If there's ever a situation where you see your opponent's paddle down, that's a great time for you to attack and speed up the ball. Other times to attack and speed up the ball are like we said, when the ball is left up high above the net. If the ball is left high above the net, you're able to get a great position in to attack your opponent, okay? One great spot to attack your opponent is their paddle arm's shoulder, okay? If you attack that paddle arm shoulder, you put them in a very uncomfortable position and it's called the chicken arm, okay? They're unable to defend this area. So whenever I'm telling somebody to start with their speed ups, that's a great place to start to crush your friends out on the pickleball court. A great way for you to crush your friends on the pickleball court is with speed ups. Here's a drill to help. Grab a partner. I have Teresa on the other side. We're gonna be straight up in front of each other. We're just gonna get into a little bit of a dinking battle here. So I'm gonna drop the ball. We're gonna make sure we're moving each other around, okay? And remember, we're dinking low to the kitchen. When I have a chance, woo, very nice. Teresa. <laughs> woo. <laughs> okay, very good. So point of this drill is we're keeping the ball low to the net. Okay, if they ever pop it up high, okay? Teresa, just give me a little bit of a high ball and I'll, I'll, I'll hit it back at you one more time. High, okay? We wanna speed that ball up. If the ball's high, I wanna hit it low at her feet. In the scenario where she doesn't hit a high ball and we're just dinking back and forth, okay? I can always speed up the ball off of the bounce. Okay, one of the harder things to do, I definitely don't have it mastered by any sense of the imagination. However, I am able to speed up off my forehand, okay? It was a little too low and that's why it went into the net. But a great way for you to catch your opponents off guard, they may be able to defend these dinks, right? Because they're not that penetrating. I don't have too much speed on my dinks, which you probably don't if you are a beginner trying to crush your friends out in the pickleball court. However, if that ball is ever held up, great. Okay, you might not always finish that first speed up, but speed ups are also to create opportunities off the back of speed ups. So that was a great scenario where I sped the ball up at Teresa, she was able to block it, but it actually gave me an ability to hit that third one down below at her feet because you know, when you're sped up on, you might not be always able to place the ball where you want and get another drop shot back into the kitchen. So speed up the ball. If you don't get a winner off that first one, prepare for it on that second one and put it away. And that's how you can crush your friends out on the pickleball court with speed ups. All right, we just learned a great drill for you to learn how to do speed ups to crush your friends out on the pickleball court. Now let's bring that into a game situation. Back to the basics. We're going with a first deep serve, deep return, third shot drop to get to the kitchen line. We're then gonna dink the ball, put our opponents into uncomfortable positions by moving the ball around. When we get that opportunity where the ball sits a little bit high, we're gonna speed up. Or if we see that our friends over there are not in a ready position with their paddle up on the 11 handle mark on the clock, okay? So either scenario, that's our go or their go to attack us with a speed up. So here we go, deep serve, deep return. Woo, nice, woo! Nice return! Okay, Jamie Sue's out here crushing me on the court. Deep serve. Deep return, nice. Nice third shot drop, and we get to that kitchen line. Now here is the chance. We are going to dink around. Great try. Deep return. Short return, yes. Okay, 
Okay, here we go. Low to the... Nice. Great job. So, Teresa left that a little bit up. Clint was able to attack me with a speed up there, and I was unable to get that ball down back into the kitchen. We'll do one more. Deep serve. Deep return. Nice. Woo! Too high. Yikes. All right. Let's do a couple scenarios where we're just all at the kitchen line. We'll dink around a little bit. Okay, and then if a ball is left high, let's try to speed it up at our opponent. Always back into ready position. Nice. Very well done. Woo, that's a good dink. Really good dink. I probably shouldn't have stepped off that line. Woo! There she goes. Okay, the ball was left a little high. She went right down the middle. Awesome. Very nice. Good. Always in that ready position. <laughs> Here we go. It's a really good dink. Yeah. Okay, last one, just to show it, the balls, what we're really waiting for here is a ball that's left up high, okay, or bounces high. Okay, that's a really good one to attack. Very nice. I'm gonna settle it down again, bring it back into neutral. Here we go, last couple. Very good. All right, so, that was a great example of how to speed up. You saw a bunch of us take the opportunity when the ball was left up high to speed it up at our opponents. The one thing that you don't want to do is hit the ball super hard, okay, and high. Because in that scenario, your friends, who are probably around the same range as you, they might start to get a little savvy and just back away and let that ball go past the baseline. So keep your attacks and your speed ups low to the net right, directed sort of at your opponents. Maybe you want to bag them, I don't know. I personally definitely want to bag my friends all the time, which means you hit them with the ball, okay? I just smashed Clint in, the in his abs, right? So you want to make sure that your speed ups are low and maybe directed at them. That's how you crush your friends on the pickleball course. <laughs>